the infamous Winchester Black Talons. Boy, these things were discontinued some time ago, and they've gotten about as rare as hen's teeth, and they're commanding about $9 a round on some internet websites that I've seen. I managed to get my hands on a few just loose rounds and decided that I was going to put them against my carry ammo. Currently, what I choose when I carry 9mm, I carry the Federal HSTs 124 grains and I decided that I was going to put these infamous black talons all oh, these old crazy penetrators that they were you know they were armor piercing uh, I decided I was going to put them against my current ammo so I ran them across the chronograph I shot them into ballistic gel and then I tried a ballistic panel I've got a Kevlar panel that I tried to shoot it through so basically pitted them head to head ran them see how they performed now, what you're gonna notice is behind me it snowed. Here in a minute, we're gonna to go to video that's plush and green and it's amazing. And that's because I filmed that part of the video earlier this year, well actually earlier into 2021, this is like the first couple of days into 2022 now, but I actually filmed this video in 2021 and had camera problems. So I was like, man, that's so disappointing. You know, discontinued, hard to find ammo. I shot up a ballistic gel block. The ballistic gel block's over a hundred bucks. And I'm like, man, this is really bad. And I just went through it and looked at it. And I said, you know, I can actually salvage this. So stay tuned. You're gonna go back in time to a plush and green and beautiful Tennessee. Boy, that smoke more than your greasy in at a Vegas slot machine. And the Federal HST 124 grain was traveling at 1,170 feet per second. Let's go ahead and get this camera out of my way. Of course, the test pig was the Walther PDP 4 inch. Boy, if I haven't had something impress me this much in a while, I can't wait to make start making videos with it. So let's get this out of the way. I have laid a measuring tape right here across the bottom just for a nice little reference point. And of course, look at that. The black talon looks much more gnarly. Now I know that it blew a lot of smoke out the front and that's evidenced by the burn marks in the gel. Of course the HST stopped right there and we are at 15 and a half inches. Now I almost didn't bring the second block I really told myself, I was like, you won't need it. And man, I'm so glad that I did because that black talon landed at 20 inches. And had I not brought that block, I would have been searching through some of that mess to try to find that irreplaceable projectile. <laughs> but yeah, we got full expansion. It looks really nice. Of course, I got really nice expansion out of this one too. And I have got two pulled projectiles to compare them to. So I have got some that have not been fired and two that have been fired. So let's slide over and go check those out. So here we go. I've got my previous two pulled projectiles. This is the Black Talon. Of course, I weighed it before we started. It was a 147 grain projectile. And here is the Contender, the current Federal HST 124 grain. This is a plus P loading. Now, what you want to see is these pretty little man flowers I have cut out of the gel. Well, that thing is pretty. I'm going to have to make some kind of artwork out of that. Actually, I'll make some kind of artwork out of both of these. And now, since ammo is not cheap and everyone's time is valuable, let's have a word from this video's sponsor, EuroOptic.com. EuroOptics inventory is real-time, and anything listed in stock is in stock. 
They don't play drop shipping games. They ship everything same day as long as they don't have East Coast time restrictions. Their red shipping offerings provide one day and two day delivery commitments at no extra charge. So they have the stuff, they ship it fast, and it gets there fast. Best in-class offering for getting stuff to you on the quick because you know you want your gear and you want it now. Euro Optic Cell staff are all locals, they're all Americans, and they're all shooters, hunters, or outdoorsmen that use Euro Optic stuff in their own time. When you call in, you're talking to someone who cares and will steer you right. Euro Optic has a very popular law enforcement and military program. They also have an outfitter and guide program that's found easily by searching on their site. So go check them out at eurooptic.com. Now this ballistic panel has been shot before, but I've got a nice little piece of real estate there at the bottom that's untouched. First round is going to be the Black Talon. The second round is going to be the HST. Man, that PDP just shoots so nicely. Let's go down here and see if we knocked any holes in the back of this panel. Round and round, round and round, round and round. I need a quick disconnect for this tripod. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's look at this panel. Now this is from a previous video where I shot that up and I'll leave a link below or maybe even put it up here or something. But now this first shot right here, that was the Black Talon. This is the HST, moment of truth. Nope, nothing but a bulge on the back side for either one. So now I must say the lower bulge of the HST is actually more pronounced in the back. Whereas the Black Talon is not. Now I did get some stuff to defeat this before but it was all hard cast. So I cut these out of the ballistic panel because I knew that inquiring minds would want to know. Of course this is the HST and this seems to stay together really well. I mean of course it deformed quite a bit but it stayed together. And this is the Winchester Black Talon. And now if you'll look, the base of it has pulled all the way out away from the jacketing. Of course, it deformed quite a bit too. So what I'm going to wind up doing when I get home, of course, I am going to weigh these. I got Black Talon and HST. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have, please consider subscribing. Also, hit that thumbs up. Leave me an awesome comment. I generally try to get to all the comments. Some days are a little busier than the others, but I try and make my best effort to catch all of them. But also, if you will, in the description below, check out the Linktree links. I've got affiliate codes down there, and they're all vetted companies. But basically, like, let's say you go to Brownells, and you pick up a scope or pick up this or that or whatever reloading supplier or whatever it is that you're purchasing, I get a small kickback on that, and it literally costs you nothing. So it's a really good way to support the channel while you get the gear you need. But anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you next video. I love you. So I went ahead and cut them out of the ballistic panel because I knew that inquiring minds would want to know. <sighs> Skeet in my face. <laughs>